Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. This course is divided into 21 lessons. This is the first lesson of the course that talks about internetworking. This lesson focuses on the definition of the word network and two models that help the learner to understand data communications. Let us begin with the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain internetworking models, list the types of internetworking models, discuss the OSI reference model and its layers, describe the role of different devices that comprise a network. Let us start by discussing what comprises a network. A network is a collection of devices that are connected through media. It has the following characteristics. Devices contain services and resources. Devices could be PCs, routers, switches, and servers. The services that the routers, switches, and servers provide include switching, routing, addressing, and data access, among others. Connecting users to the available services means that the services can be provided once for all the users instead of piecemeal over multiple devices. Connecting devices allow users to share resources more efficiently. A network is scalable and easier to maintain. This course will present the concepts involved in creating and maintaining a small to medium-sized network for an organization. Let us discuss the internetworking models in the next slide. With the inception of networks, hardware and software from different manufacturers could not interoperate. To create a network, it was necessary to buy all the components from the same vendor. To build hardware and software that can interoperate, a model with communication functions is required. Internetworking models are important for three reasons. Firstly, they encourage interoperability. A model gives a standard way to discuss the functions that are required. A vendor manufactures a device to fulfill specific functions that are detailed in the model. Secondly, models provide a reference to describe the process of data communication. In networking, these models are used all the time. Using model terminology becomes a shorthand way of expressing data communication concepts. Thirdly, models facilitate modular engineering. One vendor can write software that implements higher layers, for example, a web browser and another vendor can write software that implements the lower layers. The copper cables used to transmit data are standardized so that they can be used by any switch, router, or PC. In the next slide, we will discuss the types of internet working models.